What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video I'm going to be sharing five technical interview questions that I was asked. So before we jump into this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe if this is helpful at all, if this content is helpful. It really helps me just stay motivated to keep making videos for you guys. So the first thing that I was asked, uh, in no particular order, was what is dependency injection? And it didn't seem like they were so much concerned that you could, you know, give like a textbook definition of what dependency injection is. But moreover, that you just understood the concepts and why it's important. Second thing I was asked was data structure questions, which is very popular, especially for back end developers, which is basically in my scenario, it was I was asked to talk about a project that I built. And so I actually was talking about my midterm project from my coding boot camp. And so I was I was describing um, kind of some technical things about how we set up the application and uh the interviewer asked me some questions he caught me in something that i said i was explaining that we had originally started off using a hash map for uh, a certain list that we were using in the application and i told him that we realized the hash map wasn't the best data structure to use and so we switched to an array list and so he basically wanted to hear why i thought we switched from a hash map to the array list and so kind of no, getting into the nuts and bolts of kind of like how the data structures work and what makes one better than another. Again, guys, there's no way I can predict if you're going to be asked specifically about hash maps and array lists, but data structures in general and possibly comparisons or pros and cons from one to another or situationally knowing what data structure would work best for you, um, that type of stuff would be really, really good to know. All right, so number three, um, I already have a video about this. It's called, I think I named it like, how I failed my first technical interview or why I failed my first technical interview or something like that. But this by far was the hardest computer science thing that I was ever asked in an interview. And it was to do math using JavaScript without using any math operators. So no plus sign, no division sign, no multiplication sign, um, yeah and so that was extremely challenging and the answer or the solution really i think shows or reveals your mastery of like computers at the most basic level like real computer science like fundamentals fundamentals um because that that requires you to kind of understand more about how the computer does math or how it just performs operations in general like when you take the the actual math symbols out of the equation you have to kind of understand how a computer goes through its logic so i wish i had better resources to help you guys with that one but obviously i failed that technical interview and uh that sucked so that is really obscure i would hope you guys don't get asked that but it it happened to me so i'm sharing it that was number three Number four, pretty simple, also pretty common, is just reverse a string. So that was actually one of the coding challenges I had to actually whiteboard was reverse a string. So that's number four. That one's really common. You guys can go Google reversing a string in whatever language you're learning, and you can find tons of resources and examples of how to do that in your given language. So that's not a big deal. That's number four. And then number five was, I was asked once, how would you theoretically parse a csv file or some type of spreadsheet so the company that i was interviewing with were actually looking for uh, a data analyst and this is what it involved was basically right now when we onboard these new clients we're bringing over all their user data which is a lot of you know data so we might have three hundred thousand uh columns of information that all needs to get populated into our system and we don't want to do that manually obviously so how would you go about parsing this file or how would you go about um, separating the values from their columns and making sure they get added to the right place in our system? And also, how would you handle values that do not match the format that they're expecting? So basically, you know, if something has a bunch of white spaces before the data starts, so if it's like a first name, but there's like five white spaces for whatever reason before the first letter of the first name, how would you go about getting that value out or what type of script would you write to make sure that that gets caught in all these different scenario based questions. And I think it was more or less to see 
what type of problem solver you were. I didn't have to actually whiteboard a solution or anything because, you know, that would be kind of a hard task. And um, obviously, delimiters are a, a one way of going about doing this. So you can say like, you know, delineation based on, um, you know, some sort of criteria that uh, they give you is one way that you could kind of begin parsing through um, and then you could write like some equations for the values uh, of each column and then uh, do some calculations like that. So there's like a few different ways, guys. I didn't end up taking that job as a data analyst. I also talked about that in another video about uh, me turning down my first two jobs after coding boot camp. So you guys can check that out if you want to hear more about that story in general. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Those are five interview questions that I personally was asked. So leave me some comments down below, guys. Let me know what questions you guys have been asking technical interviews because it, it just varies so much. And I'm also in Michigan, so I'm curious, like, what if, what are people being asked in other parts of the country or the world? So, yeah, leave that down below in the comment section, guys. Also, make sure you check out the description box for all the freebies I'm giving away, guys. So, yeah, make sure you check that out if you're a developer tons of free resources down there for you guys in any way if this was helpful make sure you guys like share and subscribe it helps me stay motivated to keep making these videos for you guys again i'm darian this is darian the dev and i'll see you guys next video all right peace